The inverted question. Time to awesomeize. Props, Sarah. Wish I'd thought of awesomizing the trophy case. Thanks, Lester. <laughs> Just wanted to highlight our school's amazing achievements. No. Initiating Thera's idea, phase two. The Least Smelly Boys Bathroom Award of 1994. Honorable Mention Cafeteria Meatloaf Competition. Third cutest chess club cheerleaders. Principal Nitpickler. <laughs> According to the official Glickersville Academy Book of School Rules, page 357, paragraph 9, clearly forbids robotizing the trophy cases. You trio of trophy treasures are serving two days of detention. Starting this afternoon! You gotta film permit, monkey. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Nitpickler, awesomizing the trophy case was sort of my idea. Vera, I am shocked. Not you think I'd believe you, but I am so impressed that you nobly tried to shift blame away from your rascally brother and his prankster pals. Principal Don Muller! Um, uh, Thera Kerplopolis, it is my pleasure to present you with the Glickersville Academy's Golden Blame Taker Award. Thanks, but no C. And for violating rule 6A, subparagraph 4, tempting an impossibly perfect student into phony fibbing, you each get one more day of attention. <laughs> Don't feel guilty, Thera. Everyone knows you never get in trouble. That's not true. Good news. Found all your awards from the trophy case catastrophe. Even your never got into trouble ever award. Just a little ding on your wing, Angel. I'm not a goody two-shoes, <laughs> am I? Goody two-shoes! Goody two-shoes! Goody This has got to be the worst detention ever! <laughs> That's it, Mr. Twitchy! Awesome idea number 206. Awesomeize detention. That's the first call to awesome I ever missed. Detention. Detention. Uh, hypnotizing apple. Why haven't we used this gizmo before? It was busy. Ever wonder why my mom's never asked me to clean my room? <laughs> Lars, stare into the apple. <laughs> and it's super shiny, Gnome, but it will never hypnotize. <laughs> In his altered mental state, Lars is totally down with any post-hypnotic suggestion. Like, uh... Oh, oh. Cool. Lars, you're a monkey. <laughs> Great work. We are so gonna awesomeize Mrs. Nitpickler's kid prison. Hey, guys! Wait till you see my cool idea to awesomeize detention! Smuggled Froyo Evil Clown Cones! A high-protein, low-fat, but still sneaky snack. <laughs> yeah, well, we're kind of going in a totally different direction, Farah. Yeah, like, less lame. Plus, detention is only for us detentionees. Yeah, we call ourselves D-Dogs, yo. D-Dogs! Okay, so I'll be a D-Dog, too. <laughs> yo! 
Do you buy it? Nope. Not for a second. You just watch me get thrown into tension. Somebody get the glue, cause Thera's gonna break some rules. Uh-huh. Uh, Thera? The bell? Oh, I heard it, but this is me ignoring it. Cause I'm gonna be late. Late, late, l -l -l late And uh, no, you're not. <gasps> you just watch. No, don't. I don't want you to be late because of my <sighs> bad self. Uh, that would be wrong. Not that I care. <laughs> Thera, the school bell rang two minutes ago. Oh, you know it. Now what are you gonna do about it, Dud Muller? Something I should have done a long time ago. Change all our clocks, since they are obviously two minutes fast. <laughs> and uh, thanks for keeping Glickersville Academy ticking in time, Thera. Uh, okay, detention, here I come. <laughs> you figure I've been using 40-year-old tuna fish? Bad, bad me! <laughs> you just saved your classmates from major tummy trouble! Bravo, young germ fighter! Okay, let's see how Lady Library likes my new kicks. with the intent to make non -sh noises You all get detentions! Uh, yes! Except for you, Thera. I apologize for all of these rowdy readers! But... 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 to the grand opening of Club D. <laughs> DJ Lars kicking it for all you D-Dogs doing the hard time after school. <laughs> awesome bumper desk, no? Ah, uh, check for Mrs. Nitpickler. She should have fun, too. Have fun, too. Have fun, too. You go, Mrs. M. <laughs> um, Mrs. Nitpickler? I'm littering. See? <laughs> oh, sorry, Dara. Mrs. Nitdog's not in the tension-giving mood. So just let me in. Um, unless you have an official detention, said Thera, it wouldn't be fair to the poor kids who are really being punished. Hey, righteous! Welcome to Club D, fellow D dogs. Uh, I guess you're right, Lester. I just can't get in trouble by myself. Hey, being bad at being bad isn't so bad. Here, try this. A whoopee cushion? That's so sweet. <laughs> Looks like somebody's earned a detention, huh, Mrs. Nitpickler? Absolutely! You! For violating yeah. rule number 73! Paragraph C! Blinking too loud in the presence of a non-detentionee! What? I want to see that rule. Duh ho and think about it, Lester Awesome! Rule number one clearly states, no student shall ever gaze upon the hallowed book of school rules! Punishment! Eternal detention! Oh, I think we found my ticket to Club D! <laughs> Diversion one to Bad Girl. Prepare to execute Operation Get Caught Red-Handed. Bad Girl in place. No rules? 
So you've been making up all those weird rules all this time? Why? Because Goofy, Goofy, Dot Muller knows nothing about discipline, which is why I should be principal. Mrs. Nidpickler, I am shocked that you would unfairly punish our students. Now, those Glickerville go-getters formed their own outdoor ninja squeegee club. <laughs> Love the monkey fellas. <laughs> Principal Dunmuller, are you sure we can't stay in Club D? Uh, uh detention? Uh, for a couple more days? Eh, uh, no, no. You unjustly punished lads. You take your ninja equipment there and, uh, and go have some after-school fun. Oh, boy, uh. thanks a lot, dear. <laughs> Oopsie. Now, pull over, young lady. This hallway is a no-desk driving zone. Get ready for the worst afternoon in the history of detention, Missy. <laughs> Club D is back in business. <laughs>